Wait, wait. <laughs> this is dusty. I have not used my vlogging camera in so long that the lens is dusty. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am still a flight attendant. I know so many of you guys are gonna comment that or DM me or message me. I am a flight attendant still. I haven't flown in a little bit over uh, like two months. Two months, I have not had one flight attendant trip. And I would say since March, I've probably only flown uh, maybe three or four times. Airline industry is super sketch right now. My friend just sent me an article yesterday that United announced that they were laying off like 35,000 employees and 15,000 of them were gonna be flight attendants. I'm like, oh no, my United brothers and sisters. My airline has also uh, announced that there's going to be some furloughs, there's gonna be some sizing down of the airline. So I am right on the edge of, I might get furloughed, I might not. I'm like, I'm like right on the cusp. So it's been a little stressful for me because I'm like, what else would I do? I love being a flight attendant. It's like the best job in the world. I don't know what other job I could do. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think would be a good job for me? If you guys think like, oh, Stella would be so great at this job, leave it down below and I might look into it come October when the government, I guess, packages run out, the government money that they were giving the airlines, it runs out at the end of September. Come October 1st. <laughs> I might be a server at a restaurant. I might work at Chanel. Oh my gosh, you guys. I could totally work at like the Chanel store and sell handbags. Come see me. Here's my card. <laughs> yeah, so I am still a flight attendant for a while. I haven't flown much, so that's why I haven't really made many videos because my channel is Fly with Stella, not sit at home and watch Netflix and, you know, shop for online furniture. <laughs> I don't know, but just so many of you guys were commenting and messaging me that I thought, you know what, let me just do an update. Let me say hi. Let me check in with you guys, see what you guys are up to. Are, are a lot of you guys still home or have you started to go back to work with the phases of you know, our world opening up, like phase one, phase two. They just opened gyms back up. So if you guys saw my Instagram stories, I have been going to the gym. I literally, I gained like the Corona 15. Like I have been a couch potato since January. I think that was before the coronavirus. But it feels so good to be able to go back to the gym. I've been like sweating a ton. I couldn't believe it. I was like, my whole front of my shirt in the back was drenched. I'm like, yes, that is my fat coming out of my body it's crying it's going away so moved DCA based flight attendant could be furloughed in October have been ooh, been doing a lot of online furniture shopping let me show you guys what I have purchased I made tons of mistakes and I've had to pay those restocking fees like 10% really gets you when you're just paying to have to come to have the furniture come to you and just look at it and then be like mm, it's not gonna work out but yes I'll pay you the hundred dollar restocking fee okay let me show you what I've got start in the bedroom so the only really things we've gotten new uh, we, I'm watching the sheets right now in the bedroom is we got this really cool bed from West Elm love it we also got a new mattress here and this is it's a Tempur-Pedic mattress. It's the Adapt, and it's in the medium. And you guys, this is like amazing. <laughs> I love this mattress. This is like so random, but hi, we're in the bathroom. So we installed this cabinet thing in the bathroom, which is amazing, because this used to be just a flat mirror, and there was nowhere to put anything. There was like, you couldn't put anything in here. Now, because we installed this medicine cabinet, I can put a ton of stuff. And I got this for like, I don't remember, maybe $200 or so, but we got that at Home Depot and then I just hired somebody on TaskRabbit and they came and installed it. I need to like wipe it down. But this is so cool. This was like such a good investment here because now we don't have to have all this stuff on the counter. We can put it in there. 
that's the only new stuff in the bedroom. Okay, so here is like the living room, kitchen, living area. This is our third coffee table, and I'm still not really happy about this coffee table. Uh, the first one we got was too low the, and too small, and then the second one we got was too big, and now this is our third one. And the thing I like about having a circle one here is that Francis has tons of room here on the carpet to play. There he is right now in his bed. But yeah, so I, I didn't really want like a square or a rectangle one. I wanted a circle one so he doesn't really hit his head on the edges and also that he's got all this all this extra space. We are in the process of getting a new couch. If you live in DC and you want this couch, <laughs> comment down below, let me know. Um, okay, that's our old TV right there. That was a 55 inch TV that we had. We're gonna actually mount that in the guest bedroom, I'm like there's such a glare from everything. But we got a 65 inch TV. And I think, we get like this back angle. It's definitely like a higher up TV and it's a little like wider this way. So this just fits this space a little bit better. I don't know if the like, if the, if the camera angle can pick this up, but this is a long living room. So when you're sitting here, and you're looking at the TV, it's like really far away. We thought it would be better to get a bigger TV there. What's missing there, guys? I got rid of the green chair from West Elm. For some reason, I didn't like that green color. Like, I liked it in our old place, loved it. It like matched the mid-century modern, but we're kind of going in a different direction with our color scheme and um, some of our design. I was super mid-century modern in New York City, and now I'm kind of more of like, maybe just modern, contemporary? not so much mid-century anymore. I don't know, I don't know my design style, but I'm kind of gravitating more towards like maybe minimalistic type style, contemporary, modern art deco. <laughs> did order a new chair that is coming July 21st. So I'll do it, I'll, I'll show you guys on my Instagram stories. We got it from Room and Board and it's such a comfortable chair, so I'm so excited about it. All right, we, we also got a new planter here that is from West Elm. I wanted this room to have a little bit, to have like a big tall plant, and so I found this plant at a local uh, plant shop in DC here, and then I ordered this really tall uh, plant holder so that it could be like a big plant in the room. Okay, another thing that I'm obsessed with are these chairs. These are the sling counter stools and I got these from All Modern and they are so comfortable and I think they fit this space perfect because they're black and so they just kind of like blend in with this dark wood that we have under here. If you guys need counter stools or bar stools, I recommend those. We got a new trash can. We had a uh, circle one before and it was like a dark brown. Now, got this guy, which I love. I love that. This is the same brand that we had last time, which is the Simple Human. Such a good brand. Let's see, recycling. I think that's, I don't think we have anything new here. Oh, this that holds our uh, Nespresso pods, this is new. We used to have the one that was under here and you'd pull it out and they were all lined up in there, but because this is a little bit low, anytime we were opening this, we had to pull it out and I was just done with that thing. So I got this kind of a little bit more sleek, holds the same amount, but takes up a little bit less space. Not sure if you guys saw this dining room table last time. So this is just a glass top with like some brass legs under there. Got this from CB2, really good price, super simple table. I am on the hunt for dining room chairs because we need four. These we've had for several years. They're from West Elm, love them, they're great chairs, but I'm not sure if I should just order two more of these just to save money or if I should get some new chairs in here just like in general because I think I kind of want like a darker color chair because these can stain super easy. This is literally like my favorite piece of furniture in our house right now. This is from Crate and Barrel and it's basically, oh it's kind of messy right now. 
It's basically a bar cart. That's what it looks like inside. That's Bart's little square that he puts all his books and stuff. So it holds like glasses here. We've got our alcohol, some wine down there. I'm just obsessed with the texture of this. It's so cool. So I'm kind of trying to set up like our bar cart, but we haven't, I haven't got it set up completely yet. Next favorite thing is this plant. <laughs> Literally got that for like $15.99 at the store. And I love like the beautiful pink color. Guys, this plant is gorgeous. Does it say what kind of plant it is? TI plant, oh, love this plant. That plant holder also is from West Elm. They have good plant holders. You guys already know we got this little thing here from Target. Love that, kind of just blends into the wall easily. Oh, this, this is what the mirror used to look like in our bedroom, just flat. So you couldn't, it wasn't like a medicine cabinet. It was just a mirror stuck to the wall. So we're gonna replace this one too, actually. I just ordered one for this bathroom. Okay, guest bedroom here. Total work in progress, but we got a bed frame and I did get this bed frame from uh, West Elm. We do not have, I don't have like sheets or anything on the bed completely, but I love this bed frame, just really simple. Uh, the color I got was Pebble. This is a queen size bed, so it takes up a ton of room in this guest bedroom. These were chairs that I had ordered from West Elm for Ooh. our dining room. The back is really cool. I think these are called the Jack chairs, but they like, do you see that? Or do you hear that? They rock, they don't stay on the ground evenly. Well, this one I think is on the carpet, so it's definitely not staying evenly. I had four of them, but two of them I already sent back to exchange, and now I just pulled these from the dining table because I think I'm just going to return these as well. Oh, no! I'm not NYC crew anymore! I need to, like, DCA. Aw, it's my flight attendant luggage that I haven't used in forever. Okay. There's some filming equipment that I use when I do my sit down videos. So this is new. I got this from West Elm. It's a little three drawer set here, or a three drawer dresser. Got some LaCroix under there. I think this is such a perfect piece for this room. I think it definitely matches. And this kind of matches the bar cart that I have outside. Nothing really in it yet have two plants here that I have to get pots for. I have had this lamp forever. This is from CB2 and I love it. Oh, my hair is like almost dry but not quite and it's like sticking to me. Okay, that's the Stella update. That's what's been going on guys. Haven't flown much, a little scared about losing my job, not sure what else I would do. Maybe just become a full-time YouTuber and just wake up every morning and have my day with you guys. I don't know, do you want that? <laughs> what, what, what have you guys been up to? What have you guys been doing at home to keep busy during all of this madness? Anyways, okay guys, well, that's my Stella update and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Should I vlog next week and just say hi? If any new furniture pieces have come in, <laughs> maybe. Okay, bye guys.